Hello and welcome. This is Katarzyna Richter, founder of Deal With Culture and organizer of Digital Detox Retreats. I have uh, found something quite interesting recently and uh, I really want to share it with you because it might be important for your mental health or mental health of uh, your loved ones. Um, Internet addiction disorder has been recently added to Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, uh, which means things are getting serious. And uh, what is even more interesting, uh, people that uh, have been designing all the technology devices like uh, Apple, uh, like um, uh, Apple smartphones, iPads, and the uh, platforms through which we consume the the content, like uh, Wired, Blogspot, and other um, other ones, they knew exactly how dangerous this technology is and uh, what consequence uh, it can have on our mental health. Uh, basically, um, the best proof of that, uh, people like uh, Steve Jobs, people like Chris Anderson, uh, who was the um, former editor of uh, Wired magazine, or um, Ivan uh, Williams, who was the founder of uh, uh, Blogger, Twitter and Medium, they uh, knew uh, how dangerous this technology is and they followed one very important rule of drug dealers being never get high on your own supply. So basically uh, they made sure their children uh, were never using the devices. Their children were not allowed uh, to use um, the iPhones, iPads uh, or internet um, basically in the amount uh, which would allow them to, um, to get addicted. So they had house rules. Like for example, they uh, uh, some of them uh, some of the house rules were the children couldn't use uh, the uh, internet devices in their bedrooms. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, uh, otherwise um, other <laughs> other rules were uh, the children who uh, didn't basically uh, use those devices at all, and um, uh, that uh, that really. Uh, points out that you know uh, the for example oh yeah another thing uh, Greg uh, Hochmuth uh, who was uh, one of the uh, Instagram uh, founding uh, engineers uh, he basically realized that he was uh, building an engine of addiction he knew that uh, Instagram the same like uh, Facebook are basically bottomless and uh, will cause uh, mental health problems so uh, since the internet addiction has been diagnosed and there is ongoing research about it I would like to share with you nine warning signs uh, saying uh, you know basically that uh, you might have a problem with internet so uh, what are they uh, first of all um, when um, when you're using internet and you're losing track uh, of time and you're surprised that you know how long you've been staying online this is a uh, warning sign number one warning sign number two uh, you feel ashamed when you realize how long have you spent online using all the devices okay so it can be uh, basically your 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 phone your smartphone your uh, your, your computer or um, uh, or your iPad okay uh, what else? Number three, um, uh, you have tried spending less time on the internet uh, devices and you failed. You discovered that it is difficult uh, or challenging, basically. So you tried and you didn't succeed. Uh, warning sign number four. Um, you find yourself wandering online uh, sorry you you, you 
you catch yourself thinking about uh, being online and uh, uh, all the things that you do online when you are actually offline. So let's say you are uh, maybe at work or maybe you're spending time with your uh, family and uh, and you just wonder what's happening online when I'm not there. This is uh, also a warning sign. Warning sign number five. Uh, you fall asleep, fall asleep browsing uh, and uh, when you wake up you uh, grab your phone and you start browsing again. Uh, this can be uh, another warning sign. Warning sign number six. Um, uh, you basically find yourself uh, frustrated or upset um, when uh, other people seek your attention while you are online. So uh, think, think about this, you know, you're just uh, maybe browsing your, your social media and somebody is asking for your attention and you find it really irritable. That would be the, the scenario. Uh, okay, uh, warning sign number seven. Um, you've experienced uh, physical, <laughs> uh, physical difficulties or symptoms uh, caused by using uh, the digital dev devices. So maybe uh, your thumbs getting numbed or your wrists, you know, uh, getting pain, your uh, numbness in your hands, basically, uh, your eyes being tired, things like that. Um, warning sign number eight. Let's see um, uh, if you uh, if you find it uh, uh, that it resonates with you, let me know. And uh, if you're watching live, say hi. Say if you've noticed any resemblance of those uh, warning signs into into what you're experiencing in your life, or not really. Uh, so, warning sign number eight. Um, has anyone? in um, amongst your your family or friends expressed concern uh, about the amount of time you spend on the internet so if you've heard it uh, from somebody somebody uh, pointed it out for you that might be uh, a red red light warning and the uh, last last warning sign uh, number nine so uh, using internet or mobile phone or smartphone uh, in a situations when it's not appropriate, okay? So for example, uh, maybe you are at uh, the doctor's visit um, and uh, you're attending the visit with the doctor and the doctor starts, I don't know, writing something on the computer. <coughs> Sorry. And, you know, you just grab your phone or just look into your screen or start checking your um, your emails. Uh, that would be um, considered as inappropriate. Or maybe when you go to the cinema and uh, instead of watching the movie, you're just scrolling your phone. Situations like this. And um, uh, to be frank with you, uh, it, uh, some of those symptoms I've noticed in my own life, uh, some of them now, some of them in the past. And uh, just the awareness of it that, you know, they are the warning signs of the internet addiction is, uh, is a lot. And uh, it, it will help you to take greater care about yourself and reflect more about your life. And uh, what is really important here is also to watch out for how often does that happen okay so is it uh, uh, occasional is it all the time is it often very often so uh, do this assessment it's like a self-assessment and with uh, each of those uh, questions uh, really think how often does that happen in in your life and then you will realize uh, how uh, how serious you know your problem might be hopefully you don't have those problems nevertheless um, I, uh, I just want to make you aware that uh, technology causes addiction uh, if we don't set uh, boundaries uh, because it's just it's built in this addictive way and uh, some of us uh, might be more prone to the addiction just like uh, all other addictions like drugs or alcohol 
um, so uh, so just be mindful about it okay uh, thank you so much for watching if you have any questions do let me know and uh, see you soon again